Good morning, you guys. You all know that I am a very pale woman. I love my pale skin, but every summer I like to be nice and tan. Normally, in the past, what I would have done is laid out in the sun, gone tanning in a tanning bed. Mm, I do not. I have to preserve what I have. I don't want wrinkles. The older I get, the more just how I, I realized just how dumb I was when I was younger. Tanning is no, no. Tanning is mm -mm. Now that that is said, I love to fake tan and it just feels good. I like the look of being tan. I like the um, safety of not being on the sun. And so I've gone through several and I found one that I really like. Now, before I jump into that, what I also like to do is I like to bleach my teeth while I'm doing it, hitting two birds with one stone. Now, usually I like to do this at night. I like to bleach my teeth, put my self tanner on, and then rinse my mouth out and go to sleep. When I wake up, I take a shower. Today I'm gonna to try it a little bit different. I have never done it in the day. So the bottle says wait four to six hours. So I'm gonna wait the six hours, take a shower, and then see how well that works. I do have a few tips for you with bleaching your teeth as well. And I never would have even thought to say this until my parents bleached their teeth and Joel bleached their teeth. And Joel just slapped the bleach on. I'm like, what are you doing? I'm like, you have to floss first. So floss your teeth, brush your teeth, so you have a clean canvas so that the bleaching can go on nice and even. So preparation is key. I have been using White With Style bleach on my teeth for a while now, and the reason that I have stuck with White With Style is because the bleach does not hurt my teeth. It does not send shocking pains through my teeth. Every time I've used other whitening strips, my teeth get so sensitive, they feel like lightning is shocking through them, and I can't do it, and I feel like I'm breaking my teeth. So, this stuff does not do that. It does not make my teeth sensitive. It comes with trays, it comes with bleach. I am going to put this bleach in my mouth, and then I'm gonna show you how I apply myself tanning. While I am putting the bleach in the trays, I do have a discount code for you guys. I have provided this to you before, and the main question that I had is, hey, this coupon code didn't work. The, the coupon code, Bonnie28, works on the Sparkle White Kit. It allows you to get the uh, kit that I like to use for 28 bucks. If you guys need to bleach your teeth before summer, go ahead and check that out. So I'm gonna put this in my mouth, and then I'm gonna show you how I self-tan. Like I said, preparation is key. So I have taken a shower, I have shaved, I've used exfoliating scrub, and then when you get out, you do not want to put lotion over your body because you want the tanning lotion to soak into your skin, not the lotion. But I can't do that, I'm way too dry, so I'm gonna use a serum. This is my favorite serum. It's not as heavy as a lotion, but it will protect your skin. I also take a lotion and I apply that to rough, dry areas. So definitely your hands. You all know the people that self-tan because they have orange hands, orange elbows, orange knees. Put lotion on your elbows, your knees, your feet, and your hands. And then you are going to want to put on gloves. Some people use a mitt. I like to use gloves. So this is my favorite tanning lotion. It's tanning wise. I will leave a link for it down below. It is very intimidating looking. Look at this, it's like green, brown, disgusting. Anyway, I'm going to start with sections. I'm gonna start with my upper arm and when you do your legs, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna start with your thigh and then work your way down. So I am staying clear of my elbow. You are going to want to rub this in like crazy. You just keep on rubbing. Uh, you do not want streaks or lines. So you just take your time and you rub it in until you do not see lines. I like that it's super, super dark formula. And then once you rub it in, you don't see it as much. So it, I know it might not seem like you're getting a tan on, but you really are. So. You can see I'm staying away from the elbow until there's not very much left on my glove. And then I go over my elbow and I go into my armpit. 
So that looks very smooth to me. Now I'm going to do the lower portion of my arm. And when you do your legs, you do the lower calf once you get done doing your thigh. So I do the exact same thing. I rub it through the center of my arm. I, I blend it up with the top of my arm and I'm not going down onto my hands or my elbow. Once this is all rubbed in, then I will rub a little bit on my elbow and down onto my wrist. So once I'm done with that, I'm gonna pull my glove down and I'm going to make sure there's not a harsh line. Once you've done your other arm, then I start with my neck. And of course, I normally wouldn't be wearing a tank top. I just wouldn't have anything closed, but for the sake of the video, I'm gonna have some clothes on. So then I'm gonna make sure if you're gonna do the front of your neck, you do the back of your neck. And if you have someone that can help you do your back, great. For the purpose of the video, I'm just gonna show you what you can see right now. I like to do my chest and my neck twice because you're gonna see later that your face absorbs this color so much better than your neck and your chest. Maybe it's the difference in oils, I don't really know. But when I do go on my face, I like to make sure that it blends down onto my jawline. Nothing's gonna be worse is if your face does not match your neck. So I like to just really get in there. Some people do not even tan their face, period, and they just use darker foundation when they get ready. But it's summertime, a lot of times I don't wear makeup, and so I definitely do my face. Some people break out, I don't know, I don't really have a problem with it. Once you're done, you do your hands last. Take your gloves off, pump a little bit onto your hands, and you blend that line from your wrist onto your hand. I start with a little bit. I go, I'll go in with more, but you just wanna start with a little bit and rub it in just like you would lotion. And I work quickly because this stains your hands so fast. It stains your hands so fast. Your hands are like the driest part of your body, just like your feet. So rub that in and do a very thorough job. I have a wet washcloth. Do not let the washcloth touch other areas of your body, but you wanna get your palms clean. You do not want Oompa Loompa hands. That is a dead giveaway. And I see beauty vloggers all the time with orange hands. I'm like, what are you guys thinking? Wash your hands when you're done. So take a rag and see, you can see the difference between the two hands. One hand looks good, one hand is gonna be Oompa Loompa. This does have a really green tint to it, but that goes away once it's so soaks into your skin and it really is the perfect brown. There is no orange to this tanner and that's why it's part of my favorite. Then I like to take a dry towel and I go in between my fingers. Seriously, take time doing your hands. I go across my knuckles. It looks like I'm being really rough but I'm actually doing it very, very light handedly. I just take a dry towel and if I feel like there's areas that might be susceptible to collecting color, I just go over a, li a little. I go over my entire hand, my wrist, my elbows, my knees, my ankles, anywhere that you feel is gonna gather color get that cleaned All up. All right guys, it is eight hours later. I got in the shower, washed my hair, and rinsed off the excess that was on my body. So this is what I'm left with. I do feel like when I sleep in it, the color is a little more rich than maybe I'm left with right now. Also, it is kind of a pain to like, I felt like I couldn't touch anything, and so I definitely prefer sleeping in it and then showering in the morning. I do want to show you my hands. I am very proud of how my hands look. There is no big dark lines on them and that is just, it's just so nice when you don't have those. <laughs> my knuckles, I don't feel like you can see a little bit right here that's a little bit dark. If you do have areas that have a lot of pigmentation on them and it does not look good, take baking soda and a washcloth and water and scrub at those areas. That always helps. And I have one last product that I wanna share with you guys. This is the Becca Luminous Body Perfecting Mousse. This stuff smells ridiculously good. So basically what this stuff is used for is if you don't have time to tan or if you didn't think about tanning and you're wearing a dress and you have really white legs, this will give you a lot of color even on pale, pale skin like moi and it's good for a day until you shower the next time. It does have a little bit of transfer, so I would be leery of like wrapping up in a white blanket or something, but that's kind of with every self tanner, you're gonna have that issue. All of the products that I talked about, I will make sure to leave them in the description down below with links so that if you wanna check them out, you can, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.